Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I'm the Friend, and welcome back to the next episode of my Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Randomizer. Alright, so in the last episode we did finally make our way here to Lily Cove City. And uh, now that we are here, we are going to probably be uh, battling our rival May here in today's episode. And uh, maybe heading to the Sef uh, Safari Zone uh, soon after that. We'll see what happens, uh, see how long this takes. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do here today. We got our rival right here, got May, and uh, we're going to take her down. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, Framed, are you shopping too? I bought a whole bunch of dolls and posters. Of course, I've also uh, caught a lot of Pokemon and I'm raising them properly too. Actually, I'm more worried if you're raising your pro Pokemon properly, Framed. Uh, I'll battle with you so you can uh, show me your Pokemon. Uh, the Pokemon I raised won't be beaten by your Pokemon, Frames. Yes, they will because I am vastly superior to you. Uh, but anyways, we got May here, and uh, she's sending out a Kui Lava, and I'm sending out Bugsy first, looks like, and I will definitely have to switch out to Ruby, uh, just to play it safe, of course, and uh, it's using a smoke screen on me, but, eh, shouldn't be that bad, I hopefully will hit, oh, I am not able to hit, crap, uh, so this could actually turn out to be kind of bad, uh, although if I do hit uh, with Surf, it will be an instant kill, most likely. And I am able to hit here, that's awesome. Alright, so we're taking down Koi Lava in one hit. It was a critical hit, so, you know, no problem. You know, you know. Uh, we got... Who's coming out next? Let's see. We got Espeon coming out next, and I think I want to switch around uh, just a little bit. I think I will send out... Hmm. Well, I actually have, like, nobody with really good physical attacks. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's, uh, let's throw out Draco, actually. Because uh, he has Fly now, I just kind of remember that. So we're going to have him use Fly, I think, because uh, I think Espeon has kind of terrible uh, defense stat. Ooh, using, ooh, ooh, Sand Attack, that could actually prove to be, yeah, bad, because, uh, ooh, never mind, okay, Fly actually doesn't really have all that good of, uh, of accuracy, so I'm kind of surprised that it actually hit there. But I'm going to use Twister here, uh, just to try and take it down a Saparuni. Ooh, that was a critical hit. Ouch. And I able to, am going to be able to take it down here, it looks like, uh, which is good. Uh, critical hit again, but it really didn't matter. I was probably going to kill it no matter what. Got a zoom rail coming out here. Oh boy, the zoom rail is terrifying. We're going to throw out Amphi uh, because it has the Thunder Punch, uh, which will be super effective against a water type such as a zoom rail. But of course, uh, we're going to use the Thunder Punch here. See you, Zoomreel. You stood no chances against a me. Oh man, a Mewtwo? The heck? Uh, shoot, wow. Okay, Mewtwo. This is actually going to be kind of difficult, I think. Uh, we are going to try and take down Mewtwo with another one of these Thunder Punches. Ooh, it uses Barrier. Ooh. Uh, its defense goes up a lot, but we... That's not that bad, because I really don't have that many physical type attacks. And uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and throw out the Thunder Wave here, uh, just to paralyze it. Uh, just to give me a little bit more of an edge, because Mewtwo is kind of terrifying. Uh, but anyways, we're going to use the Thunder Punch here again. Probably get it down to a little... Oh, not quite uh, taking it down. Using Swift on me. Not really doing that much damage. Going to use the Thunder Punch and take it down. And, uh, and this turn here... It looks like we are able to take down that Mewtwo, and that was that could have gone uh, really bad. Um, I got kind of lucky there, I think. It didn't use really all that. It didn't really damage me at all, actually. It used Swift. That's that's about it. So I could have used like Psychic or something, and that probably would have done a crap ton of damage. But I got lucky, and I I'm okay being lucky. I will take it. A win is a win in my book, you know. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm thinking of going back to Little Root soon. I've caught a decent group of Pokemon, and my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm gonna go. So I'm going home uh, to show my dad. Framed. What are you going to do? Collect all the gym badges and take the Pokemon League challenge? But of course. Uh, well, while you're collecting badges, Framed, I'm going uh, to work on my Pokedex. I'll complete it before you. We'll see about that. But anyways, we're gonna head back to the Pokemon Center here really quick, and uh, hmm. Trying to think of what I want to do. I think I will actually head to the Safari Zone here just for a little while. Uh, if you watched my 
first Nuzlocke of Pokemon uh, Fire Red, you would know that. Uh, well, first off, here we need we need to get a Pokeblock case <laughs> here from uh, the contest hall uh, before we can actually go into the Safari Zone. You uh, is required to have a Pokeblock case uh, in order to enter the Safari Zone. Uh, but going back to what I was said, saying earlier, is that uh, if you watched my uh, Nuzlocke of Pokemon Fire Red, you would know that I treated the Safari Zone uh, a little bit... Oops, I didn't really mean to do that. Oh, gosh. Alright, so we're going to switch out here really quick. Uh, just in case, that was actually really painful. We're just going to throw him out first. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, if I could try and say what I'm trying to say. Pokemon Go, wait. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to treat each area of the Safari Zone as a different area, like a different route. Uh, I did that in my first Nuzlocke of Pokemon Fire Red, uh, just because it gives me a little bit more uh, of a chance to catch, <coughs> excuse me, catch different Pokemon, or just get a bigger variety, because uh, the Safari Zone has a lot of pretty cool stuff. And this is a randomizer, so it's not going to be the same kind of stuff as I would get uh, if I wasn't doing a randomizer, I'm going to take a drink here really quick. And, uh, so it just gives me a little bit better of a chance to get a, a little bit more variety of Pokemon. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do here. Uh, the Safari Zone is a little bit different than, uh, the one from, uh, the first gen. Uh, but it does, it is split up into six different quadrants. Like, it, they aren't like different areas like it was in the first gen but they are different quadrants uh so there's like three up top and three on bottom or there's or there's uh three rows of two or yeah three rows of two columns or two two three columns of two rows i don't know but anyways that's kind of how it's split up uh but anyways we're gonna head in here and uh see what we can do see what we can catch that is you gotta pay 500 buckaroonies, but then it's this 500 bucks. No big. It's bucket change! And uh, we can't get through there. And so now this is the first quadrant, I believe. Uh, or quadrant two. Or some. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm gonna just kinda walk around in here. And uh, by walking, I mean just kinda moving like this. And I'm gonna run into something. It's gonna be a. Uh, a Togepi. Atoka P. Uh, it is the first Pokemon here in this area, so I'm going to go ahead and catch it. One, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. Atoka P was caught. All right. So that is that. It is, uh, as its energy, it uses blah, blah, blah. I don't really feel like reading all that crap. But anyways, we got Atoka P here. And, uh... And I'm going to name it um, uh, the same thing I named it in my previous LP. I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize for my uncreativity. But uh, it is what it is. Cracked. Because it's an egg. You get it? Huh? Huh? You get it? Huh? But anyway, sending that to the PC. So we're going to head to the second quadrant, uh, which is over here, I believe. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull it, pull it up here uh, on the screen, which you can't see, but I can see it. And the second quadrant is way over here. Oh, see, it even like drops down the thing, so we know we're in a different quadrant. Awesome possum. And uh, we're going to try and catch something over here now. See what we got here. And it is... Ooh, a Bagon. Interesting. All right. Uh, I'll catch it, but I don't think I will... Actually, use it since I already have a Dragonite. Uh, but we're gonna tr we'll try and catch it here. One, two, uh, almost had it. All right, it's watching us very carefully, and we don't have any Poke Blocks because I am a Dumbo Wumbo. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna try it one more time and uh, see if we can catch it here. Nope, not. Oh, and it fled. Well, shucks. Uh, that was that Pokemon for this quadrant. Uh, so that's kind of sad. And I am going to make this image bigger for me because I cannot see. Yeah, it's better. You can't see it, but it's better. I promise. 
Uh, but anyways, we're going to head up to the this quadrant that's way over here. Except I ran into oh a sharpedo. That's that's kind of fun. Well, we're going to run away from that because we cannot catch it. And we're going to speedy our way on over her. Actually, can I get over there from here? Oh no, maybe I can't. What do these guys want? What are, what are these jokers? It's under construction. What? Can I not? Oh, I can't get over there. Guess I'll go over there some other time. Uh, but for the time being, I can go this way. Sorry, I do not have the uh, the Safari Zone memorized. I apologize for that. But we can head this way, maybe? Actually, I don't think I can. I think I need to get out. Which bike do I have? I think I have the mock bike, don't I? Uh, so this is actually still uh, in the quadrant where we found the bag on, actually. So we can't catch anything here. Ooh, I should have gone up to the water. Shucks, that would have been fun. I'm kind of curious what's up here. Let's uh, let's just kind of swim around. I, I'm I'm just curious. Ooh, that would have been neat. Uh, a Bell Awesome. I actually kind of like Bell Awesome. I think Bell Awesome may be my favorite, or at least one of my favorite grass types. And I just didn't mean to throw that at all. So I'm going to run away and uh, just, just get out of here because I'm probably running out of steps. And uh, that is not good. It looks like I can only get to one more of the areas uh, because I don't have uh, the other bike. I only have the uh, I only have the mock bike, I think. So I'm going to have to come back later when I have the other bike, the acro bike. So we're going to get on the mic mic bike let's get on a mic bike and uh head up this way and get off the uh the mic bike the mock bike excuse me uh let's see what we can catch here in this area Ooh, do i want to shoot i'm already in the grass uh do i want to go up to the water that is that is oh guess i can't <laughs> uh but it is a uh cliff cleffa do i already have a clefairy I kind of feel like I already have a Clefairy. I'm not positive about that. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have a Clefairy. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna run away from this, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I just have to, I just have to leave. Uh, but if I'm right, I get to find something else. So we're gonna run down through. Aha! I do have a Clefairy. I thought I did. Uh, memory, good job, memory. I'm proud of you. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna head up this way. And uh, see what we can catch over here. I think I want to try out the water. Just because, I don't know, I have no good reasons. But we're going to try out the water here. See see what's in the water. And it is a Hitmon top. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Uh, go Pokeball, let's go. Safari Ball, my bad. Uh, see if the Safari Ball can catch it. One, nope, didn't watching us carefully. We're going to throw it one more time. And I'm really bad at catching things in the Safari Zone. I apologize if you're like, ah, you're terrible at this. But, uh, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to throw one more ball out. Hopefully we can catch it. Ah, I almost had it. I was watching us carefully. And, uh, keep watching us, buddy, because we are going to catch you. We want you. Come on. Please. Please. Do not run away from me. Do not run away. Please, 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 come on now, honestly, just stay in the ball, come on, ah, oh, that was, that was a really close one there, I'm surprised it's not fleeing, ah, and it fled, uh, but I guess that is, oh, the game is over, uh, so it looks like we have to come back again next time, and, uh, we can head into the, uh, fourth, or the two top ones that we can still go to, and there's one on the far right bottom quadrant that we can go to. So we still have a few more areas that we can go to uh, once I get the acro bike. So uh, later on, I'll have to go back to the new vile to. I'll have to go back to new mall vile city. I cannot say that name. I apologize. I have to go back there and get the acro bike uh, so that I can head to the other three areas, I believe. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that later. I think I'll actually end the episode here. In the next episode, um, I will be going to uh, the Mount Pyre and dealing with whatever team is doing up 
or doing up uh, doing shenanigans up there uh, so yeah until then leave a like if you like what you saw if you have any comments questions advice whatever go ahead and leave those in the comment section and if you stay up to the what I'm doing here with my Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke randomizer go ahead and hit that subscri subscribe button uh, but until next time hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all next time